Greetings, Andy here, Husky Acker Mining. Up in the yellow bottom recreational corridor up in Quartzville, Oregon. And uh, campsites are right up above me here. And I got the metal detector out here, and we're just looking over the bedrock and uh, seeing if we can't find any hot spots. And uh, see if we can get the camera to show it. That's all bedrock there. That's the mountain itself. Of course, beautiful creek. Lots of bedrock everywhere. We've got these old benches up here. And that's supposed to undercut the banks, so I'm down below it a little ways. And I found a metal detector hot spot or three. I'm digging out my first one. And you can see it's like a little hole there. That's all bedrock, but it kind of dips down and creates like a collection point. So it can't go any deeper. And the metal detector read off, so you just say we filled our pan up. And we're going to pan that out and hopefully find some delightful colors. So no bueno digging into the bank there, even though there is gold there. So we come just a little bit out where it's safe and legal and, uh, you know, we don't bring the whole thing apart. And of course, that's a campsite right there. It's a fire pit right there. So this is a very accessible spot. So when you're looking at places like this for where to dig, always come off the bedrock. And you can see there's all that moss down there and stuff. That'd be a good place to look, you know. That moss acts as a natural trap. There's probably gold up in there, but once again, we can't undercut the banks. But as it pours out and drains out, there could be some right in there we can get to. With all this fractured bedrock down here, you just never know when a crack may show up. Or just like a big rock like that, you know, pull it underneath and, you know, there could be some gold underneath there. So, over the day we're going to walk up and down and see if we can't find any hot spots in this beautiful area and pan them out. But right now, that little spot right there is where we're starting. So, uh, hopefully we get some luck here. Okay, so I found a hot spot. Probably trash. Dug some of that out. Once again, probably trash, but looks like I gotta clean out a little more. But whatever it is, we're getting some of it. So, to be continued. Okay. Got this hole pretty well cleaned out. No more signals there. This is good. And, pants hot. Probably just junk. Look what I found there, a little bottle cap. And of course, tools, metal, it all jumps off, so. Whatever trash we pulled out of there in gold, it's in the pan. Let's see what happens this time. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna work or not filming. But get this all liquidy. Gonna really liquefy it. Pull out some of this organic junk. A little bit of moss, make sure we get that worked pretty good. Get that good and liquidy. Make sure the moss is all cleaned out. Normally I'd classify, but meaning I'd use a screen to get all the fine stuff out. I'm just dinking around today, so. And liquidy, get rid of the organics, pull the boulders away, liquefy, that's liquid. Then to kind of just stratify it a bit, rinse some of those rocks off. I'm not pouring, just rinsing. And we'll just take it down, get some of the boulders out. And I can already see some lead in there. Probably gonna be all junk, but you never know. Not pouring, just rinsing the top off. And let's see. We got a screw or tack of some sort. Lots of iron in there. Yeah, nice little color though. Make sure you can see that. There's a nice little color in there and a lot of metallics. So we're finding gold. Okay, that first sample pan kind of revealed what we we're expecting. Old nail, some lead, bullet stuff. Just what you expect. Junk. But we cleaned up the environment doing it, so that's always good. And there's a little color gold or two in there, so that's nice. So we're finding gold. I don't know if it'll show it in there. 
try to take a picture, we'll get a little better. But yeah, so we, we found a color and we found junk. Well, welcome to metal detecting in an Oregon River, folks. <laughs> Hopefully, we do a little better on the next test.